Well, would you Adam and Eve it? It seems that the idiots do have a king, and his name is Nathan Thompson. And there's a really good reason why I take issue with this idiot, lunatic, whatever you want to call him, and all his beliefs. But we'll talk about that later on in the video. We're not dealing with normal people. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make an announcement. Has anyone heard the Earth is flat? They're psychopaths. I actually can't believe how popular the group is. I woke up this morning and I have 2,200 members to approve, so the group is just exploding. Now, it seems to me that Nathan's whole belief system is based around the fact that he thinks NASA are lying to us about the Earth being uh, a globe or a sphere. But my question would be, what have NASA got to gain by making us believe that the Earth is a sphere? What would happen if the Earth was flat? Why would they need to keep that a secret? They wouldn't. It's really that simple. Um, another part of his theory, which I find absolutely laughable, is the fact that he thinks that the word NASA means something in Hebrew. Good morning, Hebrews and Hebrews. Let, let's just have a look. NASA in Hebrew means to deceive. This frequently used translation is in fact incorrect, and NASA in Hebrew actually means to lift. Now who speaks Hebrew? Jewish people from Israel speak Hebrew, so... There's your answer right there. Wait, hang on a second. So if you're from Israel and you speak Hebrew, you are responsible for covering up the fact that the Earth is in fact flat and not a globe. So you asked me who was behind it, and I think it's pretty obvious once you do the research. Perfect logic. Why didn't I think of that? Nathan, come, come, come here. You do realize you're saying all this out loud, don't you? You ever hear about the flat earth? <laughs> Did you know what's in the Bible? That the earth's flat? This <sighs> flat earth is really starting to off. So it's in the Bible that the earth is flat. And the basic gist of it, without going too deep, is that um, a giant tree was planted that grew up to the heavens and they could see the four corners of the earth. Part of your belief is based on a giant tree and a book that was written in the 6th century when, I'll give you, it was believed that the earth was flat. But it's been proven for thousands of years with the advancement of technology and science. And let's get back to this tree. Who else was up there with them? Maybe Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny? Just stop this nonsense that is fueled by the internet. The thing that baffles me more than anything else about this whole flat earth nonsense is the way that flat earth believers can just brush off centuries of scientific research and don't worry we are going to get to the part of the video that explains why i think that nathan thompson is a complete lunatic and i may even go as far to say as potentially quite a dangerous individual the thing is in this day and age you you just should really know better there's years and years of research that prove for a fact, not an assumption, not a theory, for a fact that the Earth is actually round. It's a globe, it's a sphere. It is not flat. I've, I've just come across another clip of Nathan Thompson. <laughs> If you needed proof that this guy is a complete nut job, here it is. I've got crosshairs on the back. I don't know if it's the CIA or the FBI or whoever's protecting these pedophiles that run the world. So there we have it. The world is run by pedophiles. Um, like I say, I don't even know what to say to that. It kind of reminds me of a schoolyard argument, you know, where two kids are arguing, my dad's better than you, no, I'm right, you are, and, and then when you can't win the argument, you go, eh, you smell. 
and then run off because you've got nothing more sensible to say. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Saying that the world is run by paedophiles, I've never, ever heard anything so ridiculous in my life. Regarding the ice walls... Oh wait, hang on, maybe I have heard something equally as ridiculous. The ice wall. It's never been proven, but it makes a lot of sense. Something has to hold the water in. We know that the water is not falling off an edge. Uh, newsflash, the reason it's not falling off an edge is because the sphere doesn't have any edges, does it? And there's no ships and boats going off the edge. Um, that's all a r ridiculous conception to make people laugh uh, at the Flat Earth theory when they hear about it. The group have also made claims that space exploration is fake and that NASA is a fraudulent organization. Just bear with me one second. Hello, Elon, Creaky Blinder. Yeah, I'm very well, mate, I'm very well. I've got an idea um, about uh, these flat earth guys. How would you feel about flying them all into space uh, to, to prove that space is actually there and that it does exist? Yeah, <laughs> no, I know, I know. Yeah, it is ridiculous. And I tell you what, here's another idea as well. Once you get them all up into space, um, would it be possible to leave them there? I know, it's an awesome idea. Well, see, see what you can do and, and give me a call back or email me. Okay, thanks, Elon. Yeah, you have a good day as well. Okay, bye. It's worth a try. And in fairness, it's no more ridiculous than any of the ideas that Flat Earth has followed anyway, so what have I got to lose? Get in touch, Elon Musk. Let me know when you can ship them all out. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new. And um, bring it on, Flat Earthers, because there's nothing, nothing you can say that will make me buy into the idea that this beautiful ball we live on, floating around in space, is flat. Cheers, guys. Bye.